Marco, keep on doing what you do, taking trips, living life, customizing every shoe. All right, guys, today I'm gonna be doing some fun painting. I got a bunch of paints here. I got a lot of paint. I'm gonna test a bunch of art techniques I've seen online. We have like four or five different techniques we're gonna try out today. Let's start with the first one called pendulum painting. Pretty much you put paint in a bucket, drill a hole in the bottom, swing it around, and it makes like an awesome art piece on a canvas. That's what we're gonna do first. Step one, I gotta drill a hole in the ceiling and hang my bucket. I wanna see how sturdy this is. Don't film it. Step two, I'm gonna put down some plastic in this room so I don't get anything covered in paint. Step three, fill the bucket with paint. Okay, I got my four canvases here. This is the biggest I could find, so I'm gonna like put all four together so it makes one giant canvas. All right, before I put the paint on the canvas, I wanna make these canvases black. I feel like it'll be better if the background's black and it pops off more. Ready? Yeah. Oh my God, I'm scared. Oh my gosh. Is this working? Wait, I'm gonna Fortnite dance while does it. Oh. <laughs> okay, now at this point, it was working way better than I thought, but it wasn't perfect. You could see some spots right here that weren't perfect lines, but this one's only practice for the ones I'm gonna be doing later. All right, I think it's time. I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna just put my hand under there so it stops. Oh, that was good. I'm not done. This is not done. I'm still gonna add a little more color. See, the pink is all still in here. That's the part that makes me sad. Ah, okay, it's the next day. All these are dry. I think it was cool. I'm gonna take these out of here and then put them in the other room so we can start the next one. All right, next one. I got this canvas, it's like a long one. This one's called string art. I'm gonna take a rope, dip it in paint, and then like drag it across this, and it's supposed to look really cool. All right, I'm gonna take this canvas and paint it white. I know it's already white, but I just want the paint to be wet. So it all kind of has to happen really fast. I'm going over this super lightly with the roller so it has kind of a texture with the white paint. Here's the rope I'm gonna use. I'm gonna do this color too. I added some water to the paint so it's super liquidy, and it like will absorb better. I don't know, I've never done this, guys, so if this looks like actual shit, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Okay, so at this point I realized I didn't have enough paint on my rope. I shouldn't have wrung it out before I put it on the canvas. So I just re-dipped the rope in paint, put it back over the canvas, and it actually worked way better. Wow, that does look good. <gasps> Is that cool? I also tried the same technique on a skateboard that I had laying around, and it actually looked really good. This one also literally took me five minutes. All right, guys, art technique number three. Oh! Oh my God, dude, I just hit the ceiling. Okay, that's how big this canvas is. This is the biggest canvas I've ever seen in my life. I'm 6'7", and this is like huge. For this one, I wanna paint a silhouette of myself on the thing. So I'm gonna lay on top of it, trace myself, and then paint that black. Hit me like one of your French girls. Yeah, this is my favorite part right here. Oh God, no. All right. Are you done? Yeah. That's what I look like, bro. <laughs> All right, so I got the world's blackest paint here. I'm gonna be using that to outline this. So it pops off the most compared to like the glossy paint I put over it. This is gonna be like super matte. And then after I have the silhouette on there, then I'm gonna pour the paint over my silhouette. All right, so for this one, I'm gonna do all red over that picture. You wanna be very specific with the measurements. Plug this up with my finger. All right, so I'm holding the bottom. We're gonna tie the string. Hopefully this works good. Three, two, one. I think it's too hot, because that's why it's splatting. It looks like a murder scene, dude. Looks like somebody got killed, bro. Oh! Oh, that was good! All right, this is gonna be my signature on the art piece. That actually kinda looks cool. It's not exactly what I wanted, but I'm just learning, guys. This is my first time really doing this, so it's a little harder than I actually thought it would be. But next one. This is called the pendulum swing, but it's a spin. You drill five holes in the bucket, fill them all with different colors, spin the bucket, it's just one loop. I have another giant canvas here. All five of these are practice, and at the end, I'm gonna use all my knowledge and make one masterpiece. For this one, I made a cardboard divider that I could put inside the bucket. So each color would have its own hole on the bucket. And when it spun around, each color would come out separately in a line. As you can see, I have no idea what I'm doing. I feel like I look like an idiot, but the colors all started to mix together. I guess my divider wasn't good enough. It looks like shit green, oh my god. I definitely should have watched more videos on this before I just jumped into it. I'm gonna be honest, this looks like actual diary of poopy baby butt diaper green. Okay, okay, this is abstract art. We're gonna just call it art. This was my plan all along, guys. This is what I wanted to do the whole time. I decided to rub in all the paint on the canvas. Don't worry, guys. It's gonna look cool, trust me. I put down some plastic over the wet paint and then peeled it back so it had like a cool texture. I don't know about cool, but that's what it looks like. Which perfectly leads me into the next art technique we're gonna save this canvas with. This is called dustpan art. For this one, I just filled the dustpan with white and black paint, kind of randomly, honestly. And then I dragged it across the whole canvas. It kind of looks like a 3D ribbon, which is kind of cool. The colorway is not my favorite, so I did another one with a bunch Ooh. of random colors to test out on a little canvas that I had. All right, guys, so we got the paint. I'm gonna go in there. This is the most least talented needed thing ever. It's just so fun. Ready? This is the 
background of the thing I want to do and then we do black and white over it. I think this will make it look really good. Alright, now that I finished the dustpan art, I need to redeem myself with the spinny pay one. That one looked like just so bad. So now I got a new bucket and I cut big holes, but instead of in the bottom, I cut them on the side. I also made a new divider so the paint wouldn't mix together. I used tape on the cardboard so no paint would leak through. Before I put the colorful spin on the canvas, I wanted to make the background like a normal pendulum with black paint on it. Alright, here's my fresh white canvas. I'm gonna put this right under here. So I got a cup and filled it with black paint and then attached forks around it to add weight to the cup. Ready? Yeah. Oh, already. That's way better. That's way better. Should I Fortnite dance again? This is way cooler. I think the momentum helps push out more paint. Yeah. I'm gonna just stop it. That was actually really good. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna do my color swirl over top this black and white one. I'm gonna cover all the holes with tape. So right before I throw it, I can just take it off. I'm so nervous because this looks really good and I don't want to ruin it. Alright guys, the hard part is I gotta take this tape off while the paint's just flowing everywhere. That's kind of cool. Should I take that? I think it's cool. Better than the last time. The last one looked like it came out of my butt. So this one's actually not that bad. I will take this any day of the week. All right, guys, it's time for the final, the final painting. This one is either going to look like awesome or I just really suck and I'm canceled. I painted the big canvas black. I'm going to combine all the techniques I learned today. So first, I'm going to start the normal pendulum swing in white. So I just got this gallon. I drilled the hole in the bottom. Ready? Yeah. That looks good so far. So far, so good. Come on, please. Please do good. Please keep going good. I have a lot of paint in this bucket. Oh, see, once that connects. Oh, this one's cool. I'm hyped. Oh my gosh, guys, custom feet. This one's so sick. I don't want to stop it. I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop. Ready? Yeah. Oh, that was good. We're going to fill up the colors again. Same color scheme because we're using the same bucket. We don't want the colors to mix too much. All right, guys, this is the moment of truth. I'm, I'm actually so nervous because I actually love this. Take, take a look at it first before I potentially ruin it, just to make sure you guys know I'm literally awesome. So for this one, guys, I'm not gonna use the rope. I think I'm just gonna go by hand, wing it myself like that, right through the middle. Oh! Oh! It's good! Is that good? Brock, is it good? Yes, Dude, let's go! Let's go! My balls are hanging out, but I'm getting out of this room. I just want to leave this, let it dry. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh my God, I'm actually happy. All right, guys, it's the next day. Everything's dry. All the paintings are here. I'm going to go in order and show you my least favorite to my most favorite painting. There were some ups, there were some downs. I cried twice. I fired my cameraman three times. We're going to start off with the one right behind me. This is my one of my most favorite, but then I'm going to go through the order. But I really like the way this looks. It's right in my living room, so it's like super central. This one, I don't like at all. Next least favorite one, I also hate this one. I call this one shit. Next one, this one is... This one just looks like a murder scene. I don't like this one. I don't like the vibe. The pendulum part looks cool, but it's just like, this is creepy. I don't like it. This one was originally a mess up. Then I tried to save it with some dustpan art. Not bad, but it's not my favorite. Now, the final three, these are my three favorite. This is the string art one. This one looks really good. I hung this one up in my kitchen and it just looks perfect there. So I really like this one. Next, this is like a pendulum one with a spray of different colors on it. I tried to do a spiral, didn't work out too well. Now, the final masterpiece this one's the best it's like this just made me happy i was actually debating swinging myself from that rope but this one made me really happy look at this look at this it's just perfect it's literally just perfect it's just perfect and i actually have one more thing that's perfect um subscribe to marco he is so sexy